Okay, guys, so welcome to this um, class. Now, in this class, we'll be talking about contract types. Now, when you hear the word contract on Upwork, it simply refers to an agreement you have with a client on Upwork. That's what it means by contract. Now, on Upwork, we have several types of contracts. Now, ba basically, there are two types of contracts on Upwork. The first one is called hourly contract. And the second one is called fixed contract. Now, what are hourly contracts? Now, for hourly contracts, freelancers are actually hired for jobs and they are actually paid by the hour that they work for. So, when in this case, you have to um, agree at a particular rate for the hours that you work for a freelancer. Now, these jobs are tracked with the help of the Upwork desktop track app, which tracks the hours worked and the bill and then bills the clients for those hours that have been worked for now the next type of contract is called the fixed price contract now in this case freelancers are hired for jobs and they are paid at a fixed amount as agreed between you the freelancer and also the client so now the, what i'm going to do next now is i'm going to compare these two and actually tell you which of them i feel is better and which you should actually choose when you're working on upwork now of course you can actually work with the both of them but then i'm going to explain to you why you should work with a particular type of contract okay at this point now i'm going to compare the two types of um working contracts on upwork now Hourly contract, let's start with hourly contract. Now, I'm going to tell you the pros of hourly contracts and also the cons of hourly contract. By pros and cons, you know I mean those that are for and against. Basically, you understand. Now, for hourly contracts, now, what are the pros of um, hourly contracts on Upwork? The first one is you are eligible for Upwork hourly payment protection. Now, you'll be wondering, what is Upwork hourly payment protection? Don't worry, we'll get to that section. I'll explain to you what Upwork Hourly Payment Protection actually refers to. Now, the next one is you're actually going to get paid for the time you work rather than you are going to pay, get paid for the time you spend working rather than the quality of the job. Now, this might sound odd, but then it is beautiful because you cannot spend all your time working on a job and then the client says they don't want to pay you. So now you are being paid for the time you work, not for the quality of the job now the next one is disputes are decided in the freelancers favor 90 percent of the time so if you run into a dispute i'm going to tell you my story if you run into a dispute with a client um that you are that you have an upwork that you have an early contract with there's every possibility that that dispute will be in your favor at the end of the day as long as you abide by the rules of the upwork early contract now the next point here is that you can fire clients at will now what do i mean by firing clients at will now when you start working with several clients you would meet very stubborn clients you will meet very uncooperating clients so you have the ability and you have the capacity under the early contract to be able to end the contract with such clients and i suspect that when you end such um, contracts you are still being paid for the hours that you have worked from so the next thing we are looking at is it protects you against chargeback from clients now in this case upwork has a reservation of two thousand five hundred dollars per client that you work with okay now we'll get to the upwork early payment protection um, um class you're actually going to understand what i mean by this now the last one is clients cannot dispute a job based on quality so when you have an early contract with clients and then they don't really like the job or they just feel that the quality is not what they are looking for you are still going to get paid because early contracts are um, gives you the room and the environment to get paid for the hours that you worked for not the quality of the job so those are the pros now let's look at the cons now we don't have much very first one is it is not really too flexible for large contract now let me give you a scenario so for example you have an hourly contract of about even $300 per hour and you want to charge a client for um, the, the, the actual amount you want to charge for a particular job is $10,000. Now it's required that you have over 30 hours and you know this job is just going to take you about 10 hours. So in such cases, hourly contracts are not so flexible, but then you can charge even as high as $500 per hour just so you can accommodate large contract but then for very large contracts you know fixed price contracts are better 
Now, the next one, which is the last one, is you must complete jobs according to the set time frame. Now, like I explained to you, if you can finish a job in just five hours, and then you want to charge $10,000 for that job, and you have a rate of just $300 per hour, how do you work with that? So it means you must be working for 30 hours, because for every hourly contract, Upwork tracks your work through the Upwork desktop app. So that is one of the other disadvantages. Now let's move on to fixed price contracts. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons of fixed price contracts. Now the very um, first pro here that we have here is it is very flexible for large contracts. By large contracts, I'm talking about contracts that are higher than $5,000 per contract. Now the second pro here is that you can complete job faster. Now for example, someone hires you $10,000 per job you can finish the job in two hours and submit it and get paid. But yeah, for that of the hourly, you need to work for that number of hours to get paid. So now those are the pros that I have listed here. Let's look at the cons. Now, one of the cons is that clients can initiate a chargeback even after the completion of a job. Now, personally, I have experienced this. So I worked for clients and I charged him just, uh, it was a small money, I think $400 or so. Now, after working, he actually gave me a good review. But I think after, I think almost a month, I received a chargeback notification from Upwork telling me that the client has gone back to their bank to request for a chargeback. And this way, they cannot cover such payments. So I should pay back the $400, which has been paid to me. So if you accept a fixed, a fixed price contract, you are in line of fire for this particular thing. Now, the next... Um, con that we have here is that clients can actually dispute a job based on quality. Now, this might not really be much of a con if you know what you are doing on Upwork, if you are not just there to make money without actually offering quality service, okay? But then, in general, you will still have stubborn clients who you cannot please. So, for those stubborn clients that can never be pleased, this is a con because they can actually dispute your job based on the quality. So I've tried as much as possible to intimate you with the different types of contracts and also try to compare them, show you the pros and cons of all of that. Um, that will actually bring us to the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.